th there is a challenge with flying cars in that they, they'll be quite noisy. Uh, the, the wind force generated will be very high. Uh, they, th there's, um, let's just say that if something's flying over your head, if, if there are a whole bunch of flying cars going all over the place. That was Elon Musk's warning. But instead of avoiding the challenge, Tesla jumped right into the game. With a shocking price of just $6,666, the Tesla flying car promises to launch a whole new era of transportation. Faster than cars, cheaper than planes, and smarter than any vehicle we've ever seen. Why could this redefine the future of mobility? Before we begin, please help us reach 850 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Model Q, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. Why is Tesla setting such an unbelievably low price for its flying car? The truth is, no one will believe the outrageous price of $6,666 US dollars that Elon Musk has set until they see the car with their own eyes. However, today we will reveal the most convincing arguments based on facts and real-world reasoning to prove that you can fully experience and own a modern, unique flying car while keeping costs as low as possible. Although current flying car models like those from Joby Aviation or Lilium are priced between $150,000 and $500,000 USD and even the Tesla Model 3 starts at over $38,000 USD, Tesla and SpaceX have repeatedly demonstrated an extraordinary ability to cut production costs. Thanks to automation, giga casting, and integrated design, the production cost of the Model 3 has been reduced to under 30,000 US dollars. Similarly, SpaceX has reduced the launch cost of the Falcon 9 from 150 million US dollars to just 62 million US dollars. And with Starship, the target is to get it below 10 million USD per launch. If this philosophy is applied to flying cars, coupled with the use of ultralight materials like aluminum lithium alloys, and advanced battery technologies such as the 4680 or solid-state batteries, Tesla could indeed make that shocking price a reality without compromising on performance or features. Unlike traditional aircraft with exposed propellers, Tesla's personal flying car is expected to use high-power mini-electric ducted fans EDFs, a technology inspired by the auxiliary rocket thrusters RCS used on SpaceX spacecraft. An EDF with a power output of about 35 kilowatts can generate thrust equivalent to 100 kilograms. With a system of six to eight such engines totaling up to 300 kilowatts, the vehicle can easily take off and sustain stable flight with a load of two adults in the battery. The electric ducted fans also provide higher aerodynamic efficiency, lower noise, and are better suited for densely populated urban environments. Tesla's flying car is also anticipated to integrate vertical landing technology, inspired by Falcon rockets. By employing inertial measurement units, IMUs, RTK GPS systems, and LiDAR sensors, the vehicle should be capable of taking off and landing with an error margin of less than one meter, allowing for precise control even in cramped urban settings. A vector thrust control system will further adjust the landing angle to ensure passenger safety and comfort. In terms of design, the body will be constructed using aluminum lithium alloy, an ultralight material used in Boeing 787 aircraft and Falcon rockets that can withstand temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius and offers a tensile strength of up to 600 megapascals, all while remaining lightweight and visually appealing. Compared to stainless steel used in Starship, this material is at least 15% lighter and easier to form, reducing the overall weight of the vehicle to about 300 to 400 kilograms, which is ideal for an electric personal flying car. Inside, the cockpit design draws inspiration from the Cybertruck and SpaceX's Dragon capsule. It will feature a 360-degree transparent polycarbonate canopy, a material that is 40% lighter than traditional glass and is rated for level 3 ballistic protection, while also effectively filtering UV rays. The cockpit is designed for two passengers, equipped with foam composite seats that offer high impact resistance for enhanced safety during collisions.
A 17-inch OLED touchscreen with haptic feedback replaces conventional controls, delivering a sleek, minimalistic, futuristic experience. The door design is also a critical element. Tesla may offer two options. Traditional doors, which are simple to manufacture and work well in horizontally constrained parking spaces, or gullwing doors similar to those on the Model X, which open vertically and require just about 1.2 meters of headroom, aided by ultrasonic sensors to prevent collisions in tight environments like rooftops or busy urban streets. The flight control system will be managed by Tesla AI, offering full autonomous flight or flexible manual control. A multi-layer sensor suite, including 360-degree cameras, radar, LIDAR, and IMUs, enables the AI to analyze the environment and make real-time decisions with a latency of under 50 milliseconds. This system allows the vehicle to navigate autonomously, avoid obstacles, maintain altitude, and precisely control thrust in Tesla's trademark, less is more, more is smart style. The electric motor and drivetrain of the flying car will operate on an 800-volt system, similar to those used in the Tesla Semi and Porsche Taycan, with an inverter made from silicon carbide to enhance energy transfer efficiency and reduce thermal losses by up to 50%. This not only boosts the vehicle's flight performance, but also supports fast charging capabilities charging from 10% to 80% within 15 minutes via mega charger stations rated up to one megawatt. Tesla's flying car is projected to have a top speed of around 240 kilometers per hour and a range of up to 160 kilometers per charge, sufficient for citywide flights or short intercity trips. Notably, the noise level during takeoff and landing is estimated to be around 65 decibels, equivalent to the volume of a normal conversation, at least 30 times quieter than traditional helicopters approximately 95 to 100 decibels, making it ideal for densely populated areas. Regarding energy storage, Tesla plans to deploy six separate battery modules to ensure safety and maintain flight capability, even if one module fails. While Tesla has already commercialized the 4680 battery with an energy density of about 272 watt-hours per kilogram, Research into solid-state batteries with densities exceeding 500 watt-hours per kilogram is underway potentially doubling flight time to 90 to 120 minutes, compared to the current 30 to 45 minutes offered by most flying vehicles. LFP batteries are also considered due to their over 3,000 charge cycles and high stability. Finally, the most astonishing claim is Elon Musk's projected price of just 6,666 US dollars for the Tesla flying car. Tesla currently controls its entire supply chain from battery production to electric motors and software allowing for unprecedented cost efficiency. With large-scale production and the integration of SpaceX's technological breakthroughs, Tesla might be the only company globally capable of turning a personal flying car under 10,000 USD into reality. Success in this venture would mark a historic turning point, fundamentally changing how people move and rewriting the rules of the commercial aviation industry. Once again, please help us reach 850 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What has Tesla done to make flying cars safe and easy to use? With any breakthrough technology, flying cars inevitably raise concerns about stability and safety. One risk is the possibility of the vehicle unexpectedly taking off or losing balance if its thrusters do not operate uniformly. Engineers at Tesla and SpaceX understand this challenge well and have developed a meticulous monitoring system for each thruster, ensuring that all lifting forces are harmoniously coordinated to maintain stability as the vehicle leaves the ground. ERS sensors surrounding the craft continuously measure speed, position, and tilt, adjusting the thrust in real time to ensure a smooth hovering state. Another major challenge is the extremely high temperature generated by the thrusters, which can lead to severe damage within a compact vehicle compartment. Tesla has cleverly addressed this issue by equipping the vehicle with heat shields made from advanced materials capable of withstanding high temperatures without deforming. Simultaneously, the battery system, a core component of the flying car's performance, has been redesigned. 
Because a flying car demands much more power than a conventional electric vehicle, Tesla has developed an advanced battery pack that can provide sufficient energy for both ground travel and short flights. One of the most daunting challenges for Tesla is the noise generated by the thrusters, which can be quite high and potentially disruptive in an enclosed cabin. To address this, Tesla's engineers have applied specialized soundproofing materials around each thruster, keeping noise levels to a minimum. Another notable feature is the control system. Instead of a traditional steering wheel, the Roadster is equipped with a joystick-like control mechanism similar to those used in aircraft cockpits. This system is engineered to respond with exceptional sensitivity, essentially serving as an extension of the driver's own movements and allowing seamless transitions between driving mode and flight mode. With its first flying car, Elon Musk is not merely pushing the boundaries of what a vehicle can do, he is redefining the entire concept of driving in a new era. Tesla and SpaceX have combined their most advanced technologies to create a vehicle that is fast, powerful, and capable of delivering an extraordinary flight experience. This bold innovation in design, technology, and mindset is laying the foundation for a significant leap forward in the automotive industry, where smart, user-friendly vehicles become the new standard, much like the consumer tech gadgets we rely on every day. So what about you? Does the idea of a Tesla flying car excite you? Would you want to own one? When might Tesla officially unveil its flying car? Although Elon Musk has not officially announced a release date for Tesla's flying car, many experts believe the first commercial model could appear within the next five to seven years, likely around 2030. This estimate is based on Tesla's history of ambitious goals such as the repeatedly delayed Cybertruck, as well as the significant technological and legal barriers that flying cars must still overcome. Nonetheless, with Tesla's relentless innovation and strengths in electric vehicles, AI and aerospace, Entering the flying car sector seems like a matter of when, not if. At present, cities like Dubai, Los Angeles, and Singapore have begun testing flying vehicles and announced plans to launch commercial services in the near future. However, widespread personal use of flying cars may not occur until around 2050. In the early stages, flying cars will likely serve niche purposes, such as business travel, emergency response, or VIP transport. Only when production costs decrease and infrastructure improves can they become a viable option for everyday commuting. Though it marks a major technological milestone, manufacturing flying cars is far more complex than producing electric vehicles. Tesla is currently focused on other large-scale projects, such as scaling EV production, finalizing the Optimus robot, and launching several new models. For now, building a flying car isn't among the top priorities. Still, with its massive resources and well-developed tech ecosystem, Tesla has the potential to significantly shorten the time needed to bring a flying car to market. Currently, the infrastructure needed for flying cars, including urban airspace, landing zones, and regulatory frameworks is still in its infancy. However, momentum is building. In the U.S., Cities like Los Angeles and Miami have begun planning vertiports for vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL vehicles. With SpaceX-derived propulsion systems, Tesla could develop flying vehicles capable of vertical takeoff, eliminating the need for long runways, making them ideal for urban use. This fits well with modern urban planning trends. Legally, Tesla has already proven its ability to operate within strict regulatory environments, such as with its autopilot system. Globally, initiatives like the EU's Single European Sky aim to unify airspace regulations by 2035. Tesla's collaboration with the Space EX could help accelerate approvals by drawing on aerospace certification expertise. Consumer interest in flying cars is also rising. Surveys show over 40% of Americans are open to using flying cars if safety can be assured. Tesla's reputation for cutting-edge innovation gives it a clear advantage in overcoming public skepticism. Features like a 620-mile range, zero-emission propulsion, and autonomous navigation make the Flying Roadster especially appealing to eco-conscious, tech-savvy users. Though widespread adoption may still be decades away, Tesla's flying car prototype marks the beginning of a new era in transportation.
By addressing infrastructure gaps, legal challenges, and consumer hesitancy, Tesla is well positioned to lead the market. In the long run, Tesla's ambition is to redefine urban transportation moving from congested roads to open skies and offer a more sustainable, efficient commuting solution. As urban air mobility evolves, flying taxis and personal aerial vehicles may become a normal part of daily life. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the EV Tech family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.